Sailors out of uniform don't shoot, you miss cushion. But it's nice to see you out of air. Sarah? Sarah? Oh! <laughs> you must be the other Miss Cushing. Isn't this a nappy day then, eh? For all three of you? Yes, yes it is. Of course it is. Body snatchers strike in North London. Are we dealing with a modern version of Burke and Hare? Well, sadly, the anatomy schools don't need the help of body snatchers at this time of the year. They're well stocked with corpses from the poorhouses. What do you think then? Well, I don't know. Some outlandish cult, perhaps? Have you been consulted on the subject, Holmes? Come in, Hawkins! Ah, Hawkins. Make yourself at home. Have a cup of coffee. Thank you. Uh, have you brought those descriptions? Uh, yes, yes, I have. <clears throat> Body is so far exhumed. Uh, Albert Cotter, 48, fish porter of Shadwell, heart disease. Martin Rubry, 54, cirrhosis of the liver. And we don't know much about him, except it was thought he was an amateur pugilist of some sort in his youth. Uh, Jimmy King, 39, Covent Garden porter, cerebral hemorrhage. You will continue your researches? If you say so, Mr. Holmes. I do say so. And keep your eye on the premises of a certain Murdoch gull. Yes? Murdoch, do you think? He's the fence for anything out of the ordinary. He could be a man. One more thing, Mr. Holmes. Uh, the men and I would be very honoured if you'd drop by Christmas Eve. We try to get a bit festive at Christmas and we like to invite a few guests. Christmas. Mary? Mary? 
It's a start. Mrs. Hudson. Mrs. Jones. How am I supposed to think up yet another present for Watson? I mean, every year you inflict this agony on me. Well, it's quite simple, Mr. Holmes. You go to Gamages. Gamages? Yes, it's in Hoban, a departmental store. The People's Emporium. You'll be quite spoiled for ideas. Gamages. Mrs. Hudson! How dare you take my aspidestra? I do dare. Afternoon, Miss Cushing. Season's greetings, eh? Good afternoon, Wilkinson. It looks like we're in for a bit more snow before long. I do hope not. this, Monsieur Jacoté? Uh, Madame Suzanne... Our arrangement is that you may sit by the parlour fire after dinner. Otherwise, I'd be obliged, when you were in the house, if you would keep to your room. Your sister Sarah gave me permission, madame. This is my house, not my sister's. Even if she said it, which I doubt. You doubt my word? I'd be most surprised if my sister gave the run of the kitchen to my lodger. You'd be surprised what your sister gives. Very surprised. I think I'd be obliged if you left the kitchen now, monsieur. I don't think you hear what I'm saying. Susan! <gasps> Marcel! Oh, Susan! It has worked! They've made me warden at the mission! Now you ask her what she gave me. Did you give Monsieur Jacquette permission to help himself in here, in the kitchen? <laughs> I believe I did once. I didn't realize it. Ask her. What do you mean? What's going on? Ask her. You English are such hypocrites. Now you tell her what you gave me. What? What is all this about? Will someone please tell me what's going on? I see. I see. Very well. You are warden now. Go and live there then. You will have quarters at the mission. Go there. I don't want you under my roof. Go. I won't have you here. I won't. And as for you, monsieur, you will leave my house immediately. Immediately. Or I will call the police. Your belongings will be packed and left at the tradesman's entrance for your collection. How dare you! You sound exactly like Mother. What if I do? I thought I'd heard the last of that sort of thing when she died. How dare you talk about Mother like that? It's just as well I am like her. I don't know what would happen to this family otherwise. Oh! You I... hold us all together, do you? How splendid you are. Do you realise that Mary has gone away without telling anyone? She's showing some spirit at last. You call that good? Sometimes I think you're not just feckless. I think you're deliberately irresponsible. Mary is a married woman. Well, no thanks to you. You stood in her way to the last. Jim Browner was never good enough for our family, was he? The daughters of Major Cushing, R.E. Never mind, he was a gambling 